everybody this is a Traverse 2008 and this is the blend door which changes the air conditioner and we had a thumping noise from up underneath the glove compartment box and you'll find a lot of videos online where they mention the two uh, blend doors that you can see just off to the upper left here there's there's one kind of up in here and then there's one that's more or less back in this area and I reached in and um, unplugged the cables to those and we still had the thumping noise and I knew because this has uh, passenger controls that uh, there had to be more blend doors in there so after taking out the glove compartment box and removing the piece from up underneath the blower motor I was able to get down and find one more blend door and there may be others but this is the one that worked for me and just so you know instead of being on the left hand it's over here on this side of the blower motor so it's back up in here and you can access it from up underneath here now that you've got this removed so that helped me finding out where that is uh, after unplugging it the thumping noise stops so i know that's the one so now it's just about getting up underneath there and uh, actually trying to get to it to replace it if we can get a picture of it there Oh, more. There it is, right there. It's uh, easier to uh, easier to see than it is to get to, but that's the screw that I'll have to be replaced. The three that I have to get to. Well, finding the right one is about one fourth of the battle. Depending on which one it is, getting it out can be extremely hard. You may find that you can see maybe this screw and this screw, but you can't see this one at all. And it's difficult to get light into that spot. Uh, I tried a number of tools to get into this tight space. Here's the ones that don't work. Uh, a normal smallish socket wrench, uh, an uh, angle adapter, um, a little handheld socket. Um, things that almost worked. Uh, a small set of uh, a T15 Torx Allen wrench. Uh, and the things that did work, and of necessity, is a is a very small socket wrench, low profile that you can um, uh, that you can slide a bit into. Use that, uh, and then when the screws are very loose, uh, you won't be able to turn the socket that much. I found that a quarter inch. Um, bit here that I could put the bit into and just reach up and manipulate my hand uh, was helpful. And now that was the, the other problem is it's so tight in there that frequently the bit will fall out. So uh, some masking tape to tape around the edge of the bit before you slide it into either the socket wrench or this quarter inch bit. Uh, and then find yourself a magnet. Uh, so that you can go fishing for your lost bits and drop screws and whatnot, because you will drop the, the, the screws and the bits. Uh, good luck. Oh, and some small flashlights. I ended up taping these into spots uh, because you won't be able to shine it up in there and have your hands in the way. And then sometimes you're just going to be doing it by touch, especially for this top one that you can't see. Um, again, identify which one it is. Uh, before you start trying to take them out by just disconnecting them in place and looking, waiting for the thumping noise to stop. Uh, once you've identified it, then you can go through the hassle. These uh, are pretty generic, so uh, they all seem to fit. Good luck.